Hey folks, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. So I'm uh, going through my updated Wireshark course material that I'll be offering soon and sharing some more of the course material, tits and bits and tricks and tips and all sorts of stuff. So this little exercise I like to do in class. It's very simple. You've got yourself a, a switch and you've got yourself a client. You ping them and then you tell them that into it and then we go through the trace file. Uh, in a lot of detail. You'd be surprised how long it takes to go through this trace file when you really dig through it. The point of the exercise is uh, actually many. One is to get familiar with Wireshark. Two, get familiar with protocols, how things behave, why they behave, all that really good stuff. And it doesn't take a huge lab to do this stuff. You can do this with anything. Anything that you can Telnet to, you can do this exercise. And then there's other ones you can do uh, that doesn't involve Telnet. But let's just look at this one real quick. So the first thing uh, we show people in class is that in this case, there's a Telnet session. If I do Telnet display filter, I get 2,000, I'm sorry, 188 displayed packets when I use Telnet. Well, the other way to do it is TCP port equals, let me catch up to my own mouth here. TCP port equal equal, Mr. Typo, there we go. And that one has 294, so 188 versus 294. Why? Well, because the Telnet display filter will not show you all the TCP specific stuff like SYN, SYNAC, the AX here. At the end, you got to reset, you got to FIN. All that is lost. So if you just want to work with the application layer, you do a Telnet filter, you want more TCP related stuff, then you go with the TCP filter. And that's kind of the first thing we play with in class application layer filters versus port layer filters, when, where, and how to use them, that kind of stuff. Second thing is we turn off our colors because it's not helping us right now. It's more distracting than anything. And we investigate the SYN SYNAC. We find out what the client is advertising. That's what it is, an advertisement. That's what the SYN packet is. So he's advertising to the switch. And how do we know that? Because there's the client port number talking to port 23, which is the switch. So now we know the switch IP is 37, the client's 242. And we can see what the client is advertising. I'm not going to go through that right now. We do all that in class. And then the switch responds with an ACK and his own SYN. So he's advertising what he looks like at that point in time. And then we talk about the differences between the handshake and what options there are and so on and so on and so on. The second thing we do is we go all the way to the bottom of the trace and we look at the end of the trace. So right here, if I click on this packet, this is from the client and it's Telnet data. What we see here is actually the end of the actual conversation. So um, I type exit, enter, and there you go. And then it's kind of echoed back. We can see that. The client acknowledges this Telnet packet and the switch says, well, I thought we were closing stuff down. So I'm going to finish this off nice and politely. Fin, push. We'll talk about what push bits are in class. And there you go. Uh, the client responds, yeah, I got your Fin packet. At this point, the switch uh, wants to rudely and abruptly end the conversation by sending a reset. So again, nothing bad happened here. It's just the way things normally operate. We talk about application baselines, why the reset's coming out, why the fin's coming out, and different ways in which they respond to each one. So there's that. The last thing I want to show you, because again, I'm trying to keep this really, really short. Uh, if we click on, right click on a Telnet packet, I'm going to do the old follow TCP stream. We talk about the TCP stream equals zero. So every TCP conversation has a stream number associated with it. And we can see all the output here. So you see show ver, you can see the actual output from the switch, so on and so on and so on. We talk about why we see duplicates, SSHH, like it's stuttering. Why is it doing that? We can actually see the password being entered. Why? Because it's Telnet, so on and so on. So there's an example of what we do that you can do as well anytime you want to learn a little bit about Wireshark, a little bit about packets, and just get more comfortable with what you have before there's a problem. That's it, folks. Have a good day. Bye for now.